Hello, and welcome back to the June Gas Leak. This is bonus puzzle number three, and it is called Thermo Whispers Sudoku by Philip Newman. Normal Sudoku rules apply. Digits along thermometers must increase, starting from the round bulb. Along each green line, adjacent digits must have a difference of five or more. So what does that mean? Well, we have our thermometers here. These circle bits are the bulbs, and as we move from the bulbs to the tips of the thermometers, the little nubs at the end, the digits must increase. That means that this digit will be greater than this digit, this digit will be greater than this digit, so on and so forth, up the thermometer for each of the thermometers. Then we have our German whisper lines here. Five is a really interesting digit because it can never go on a German whisper line, because if you try to differ five, by five or more, then you'll have zero on the low end and 10 on the high end. So what actually ends up happening is that five splits the set one to nine into a set of low digits, one, two, three, four, and a set of high digits, six, seven, eight, and nine. Any one of one, two, three, four, when differed by at least five, will always map to one of six, seven, eight, nine, and 6, 7, 8, 9, when differed by at least 5, will always map to at least one of 1, 2, 3, 4. So, if this actually was a low digit on the German Whisper here, this would be a low digit, this would have to be a high digit, because it differs up to a high digit, and then this would be a low digit. In the same way, this being a high digit would make both of these low digits. So, the German Whispers lend themselves really nicely to color coding, generally, because you can draw or, or color accordingly lows and high digits and they just alternate along the lines. A little bit of an aside here before I jump into the puzzle. Philip, I think it was around a week ago at this point from when I'm recording the Sudoku here, released a puzzle called Tesla Coils that had the same sort of thing. It was a thermometer, it had the German whispers, and I'd gotten a comment because I used the X windmill, I'd, I'd used like some X windmill logic to kind of help solve the puzzle. And it was more so that I was using the fact that I saw the symmetry to be able to say like, oh, if I can do something with six here, that means on the other side, I should be able to do something with four. And like right off the bat here, I can tell you this won't be an X windmill Sudoku. There's a couple things that stand out to me is that the, the pattern here with this thermometer looks really great with this. The German whispers here look really nice. They're symmetrical. This here is really symmetrical. Even these German whispers are symmetrical. But there are two big problems here. And I think if you put this puzzle into a solver and you just switch these two things around, you would actually get an X windmill valid Sudoku. This five would need to be in the center here. So this four and five would need to switch places. This would need to be five, this would need to be four. And the other thing would be that one of these thermometers would have to switch because in this case, both of these are the low digits here, but just like this, how we have them going in the same direction, we would want the low digit across from the high digit. In the same way, we'd want the high digit across from the low digit or vice versa. So one of these thermometers would have to switch. So that can maybe be a fun exercise for any of you who would like to give that a try. But in any case, I'm rambling. So those are the rules. Let's just jump right into it. All right, so I can't, I can't just use some X windmill tricks here. So let's think a little bit more critically. Right off the bat, I know that these have to be, because this is something I was looking at before. I know that both of these have to be the same like type of digit, either a lo both low digits or both high digits. But there's also a problem if they're both low digits because of where they are up the thermometer this just this just doesn't work so these would have to be high digits and maybe what i do is i'll see if i can avoid pencil marking i won't i won't try to avoid it for too long but at the very least what i can do is do some color coding so these definitely are high digits here where else can we identify some high digits these are going to be high digits these are going to be high digits. These, you can see I'm doing my oscillating low high here. Not quite sure yet with this. I guess if 
you have a digit between a two high digits, right? Then it must itself be a high digit. And if this is going to be between low digits, I should have probably marked this accordingly as well. Then all of these are going to be low digits here. These three will be low digits. All right. This could be, let's just say, 9, 8, 7. This could be 6, 5. So actually, we know that we only know that this one has to be. Oh, even then, that's actually not proper pencil marking. No, it is. Between two low digits, you can't have five. So actually, yes, this is this is pop proper, not pencil marking, but proper color marking, color coding, I guess I should be saying. And this is definitely going to be five here. These need to be low, so let's mark those. So do these. Let's not forget. And why it's useful to color code like this when you're doing a German Whisper Sudoku in, in some cases is that here, for example, I actually know that this can no longer be a six. And the reason is, is because we already have four high digits. Well, if you noticed before, we only have four high digits to pull from, which means this, the best we could do here is make this five, which means this is definitely going to be another low digit. In the same way, we already have four low digits here. So we know that this will be a high and a five in some order. But not immediately helpful. I should be able to do better, but maybe I just need to do some good lift in here. I'll just, I'll, I'll good lift my thermos. One, two, two, three, three, four. We definitely we can't be higher than that. This definitely can't be five. So this will be six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine. And actually, we can do the exact same thing over here. One, two, two, three, three, four, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine. And actually, I should just mark this as six, seven, eight, nine, and this as one, two, three, four. And you can already see why we might have been able to get some sort of X windmill stuff going on here if it wasn't for uh, whatever happened here. Ah, no, this, this has some options, right? Because theoretically, well, we actually know that this is 7, 8, 9. So let's just, 7, 8, 9, let's not be silly. Let's just mark that. This will be 1 or 2. But we could technically do better there. 6, 5, this has options. This could be 4. So this is just simply 1, 2, 3, 4. Not, not ideal. This being a minimum of three means this needs to be a minimum of eight. Seven. If this could be six, this could be, make sure I'm actually color coding. <laughs> one. So this is any of one, two, three, four. Is this more limited? So because this could be five, theoretically, this could be as high as Three, four, and actually, the fact that this is eight or nine tells us we know that this is six, seven, with an eight, nine pair here, which just makes this one, which makes this two, which makes this three, which makes this four. Four needs nine, and now we're kind of coming together. So maybe I didn't need to good lift the uh, the thermos, but I think I think it was probably worth it in the end. This can't be one. Two, three. Actually, it can never be three because of the seven here. <laughs> Nine, three. What do I do with that? At this point, I might as well pencil mark it. Hmm. Ah, can this be low? The, 
problem is, is we've already used all of the high digits here. This can't be 5, obviously, which means it must be low, which means these are high. If that's the case, this is 9, this is 3, which means these are low, and this is high, which means this is 8 or 9. Actually, all of these are blues, just thanks to the fact that we've used all four of our high digits, our 5, so these must be our three low digits, 2, 3, 4. Nine, seven, eight, six, seven, eight, nine. Eight, nine is not restrictive there. Four, four does need nine, so let's do that. And then, and then, and then. This is seven or eight. Might as well pencil mark, which means Oh, it can't be two, so one or three. Two, four. Where does five go here? Not sure. This is seven or eight because it can't be six or nine which means this can never be as high as 4. Uh, because this can't be double 9, of course, sorry, this can't be 4. Same reason why this can't be... Actually, because of the 7 here, I think... Where did I apply that? I applied that here, I think. This just always has to be 2. Maybe it was here with this 6, 7. This just always has to be 2. Um... Which places two here. Which one or two, one, two pair. Oh yeah, this can't be five, obviously. So this is gonna be five. And that's actually gives us a lot of information because now we've used up all four low digits and our five, which means the rest of these are high digits. In this case, we've used all of our high digits in this box, so now these are both going to be low digits, and then we'll have a low and a 5 somewhere here, which means this is simply just a low digit, which means this is 3 and this is 4. This, now, where does 2 go in this column, makes this 2. This becomes a 1, 5 pair, and then this is 3, 4. 3, 2, 1, 1, 2. That makes this 7. 7, 8, 9. This is 6. This must be 1. This is just 6 by Sudoku. Where does 6 go? This can't be 6. Neither of these can be 6s, so this must be 6. Uh, 7, 8, 9. Ah, but we know we can do better. This is 7. This is 8. This is 9. Obviously, with the 6 being used here. 8, 9. This is just simply 8. 8, 9. Then... This is 7, 9. Again, we know the order here. Let's make sure our color coding is up to date. 4, 2, 8, 3. All right. So, where's 4 going to go in this row? can only go here. 1, 3 are going to go here. I don't see the order, but it does give us 5 here. 5 here. 5 here doesn't do it for me. 2, 7, 5. can't be 7, this can't be 2, this is 6 and 8, we actually know the order, 6, 8, 8, 7, 7 says this can't be 3, which means this has to be 3, 3, 4, 1, 2, 
six. We've used all of our high digits, so now the best we can do here is put a five here, and this always has to be a low digit. So this is four, three. Oh, one, one, two. Two, one, one, two. So this is still three or four. Uh, it, it, sorry, because of the two, that gives us five here, seven, two. We fix that that uh, that set there. This needs to be three, four. Let's again maintain our color coding, even though we probably don't need it at this point. Three, one, three. Seven, eight. Eight can have one or three next to it. If it was seven, it would force one, but it doesn't work the other way around. Six, five. Not quite sure. Three, four, obviously. Four, three. Three, one, six, eight. One, six, eight. Hmm. How do we make this work? So missing seven, eight, one, two. Ah, where does two go in this column? Two can't go here or here, so this must be two. So now it's one, seven, eight. Where does one go? This must be one, and seven, eight is resolvable. Gives us three, gives us four, gives us three. Now we need five and seven. How is that gonna work? It can only work like this. Now this is one, four, which we know the order for. Hmm. Six, five, five, six. Ah, and that's how we set the order. Thanks to this six here. This is five, this is six, five, six. Sixes are yellow. Fives, including this one over here is pink. This will be one, one, five, and we are almost done. This is five, this is six. And we should set our color coding before we do anything else. Yellows pink and with these last two digits ah wait with this last digit here we are done in 13 minutes and 40 seconds with thermo whispers sudoku by philip newman so hopefully you enjoyed bonus puzzle number three i will see you for bonus puzzle number four and thank you for watching